Feeling hip pain after yoga, or even hip pain during yoga, is extremely common. However, experience hip pain or sore hips after yoga should not be the norm, and this can eventually lead to injury. There are many reasons why people injure their hips during yoga, so let's just look at some of the more common ones. Hundreds of yoga exercises involve unnatural hip movements. Exercises that have you open your hips or do significant hip rotation can end up causing too much mobility in the hip, which can set the stage for hip arthritis and tears. One of yoga's most common poses, the triangle pose, is a good example of an exercise that puts strain on the hip. In triangle pose, your front leg is in a very unnatural position that causes a shift of the ball in the socket in the hip joint. These type of hip opening poses, also called the iliacus and the psoas, two key hip muscles to tighten because the hip, which is supposed to be strong and stable, is outside of its safety zone. This pose, as well as plenty of others, can cause strain in the hip muscles when performed incorrectly or pushed too far. So initially, it may result in feeling some hip soreness after yoga, but as the long-term potential for creating instability in the hip, which may lead to more significant hip injuries, such as labral tears over time. There are plenty of ways to avoid hip injury by making sure you don't go overboard with risky exercises. So if you start feeling some hip pain, try decreasing your stance while pushing down and in with your feet and focusing more on stability and breathing. This will take a lot of the strain off your hips, allowing you to complete the exercise without damaging your body. And if you're having hip pain with a particular pose, Try finding alternative poses and exercises for a while to ease the tension and stress in your hip. Know your body and decide when it's right to ease up. 